builders, parents, and collectors. On this episode of the Creation Evaluation Station, I'll be evaluating this big boy here. It's the Avengers Ultimate Quinjet. And it's not the newest Quinjet, but I think it still looks pretty awesome as it is. Um, before I get into it any further, I just want to let new viewers know that I do in-depth reviews of models and construction kits, both new and old, uh, mostly Lego, but other products as well. I also do reviews and discussions of creative, other creative works, such as video games, movies, and animation. So, because these are in-depth reviews, they can be on the long side, so make sure you're using the timestamps embedded down here. Jump around to your favorite part, or to use as bookmarks when you have more time. So, let's take a closer look at the box. This is the front. It's got quite a lineup here of characters. My figure segment's going to be on the long side. Um, and here is the back of the box. Very nice looking box. Makes you very excited for the set, which I am. Um, getting down to its deal de getting down to its details. It is set number seven one two six. It's for ages eight and up, and has eight hundred and thirty eight pieces. It originally retailed for $79.99 and is no longer available. Um, it originally released in April of 2019. So it's a little bit on the older side, but I think it looks pretty good, at least from the outside. Let's go open it up and check it out. Here we have the contents of the box. Now, I believe this was a return, and uh, the instructions content bag was already open. They probably did that to check to make sure the contents were there, which we've got stickers here. And there are one, two, three, four, and five bags, which is what the instructions say. But there's also this plastic bag here with some numbers on it. I'm not sure what that's about. Um, Hopefully everything is here, but we'll find out as we put it together. So yeah, risky business getting open boxes. On a closer inspection, that uh, plastic piece of plastic bag there looked like it was part of the corner of the one that was wrapped around the instruction booklet. So that solves that mystery. Uh, moving on to bag one here, we've got a brick separator, of course, set this large. Got tons of parts in this bunch. We got a bunch of larger plates larger bricks and uh, lots of other assorted parts in here an absolute ton of inverted slopes we got the one by twos not a couple of those but not as many compared to the two by two ones there's an absolute ton of these and i got some large um long plates we got two figures in here. One, I believe, is Hawkeye, since he's got a bow and arrow. A couple, one, bunch of one by two plates. All sorts of different plates, to be honest. Some odd colored pieces. We got a trans purple cone there. Trans red one by two tile. Other different bricks. A bunch of studs on side pieces over here. Pins. Some transparent orange pieces. Just an absolute ton in each and every one of these bags. This one's definitely got a lot. We have bag two, and there's a little bit less here, but still a good amount. Just not the insane amount as that first one. Um, a lot of plates. We still have more inverted slopes, but not quite so many. We have some regular slopes. We have another figure here. Not quite sure who. Maybe Captain America? I don't know. Um... Got some transparent red pieces over here. A lot of little stuff. Some nice shiny silver pieces. Some transparent green pieces, one by ones, and some little transparent orange dots. A lot of little stuff. Yeah, definitely a lot of little stuff in here. Just about as much little stuff as there was in the last one, but a lot less of other pieces. Here we have the third bag, and we have a lot less pieces, but what we make up 
in volume we make up in size. We have some large plates. We've got some large panel pieces here, including canopies and a large orange radar dish. A lot of angled pieces and sloped pieces. Black Widow is in here. Smaller pieces, including a lot of these rounded sloped pieces, definitely smoothen out some of the wings, or I believe is the wings anyways. Yeah, still a lot of small parts, but a few less otherwise. Here we have the contents of bag four, and we have a very similar case like we did with bag three. A lot of large wing pieces. Very, I think the, the opposite wings from the previous bag. Some Technic parts, and another transparent orange saucer, and another um, can piece. Although this one is a windshield piece. It's one's definitely a different one than the other one. Raccoons in here, and we have a lot more of these rounded slope pieces again, once again for smoothing. Making nice smooth curves. Some transparent green pieces, and a bunch of other little pins and dots, and not too many dots, but uh, studs and one by one plates. Oh, and a bunch of two by three plates again. I think there was a bunch in the last one too. Yeah, very similar to the last one. Here we have the fifth and last bag, and they did not slouch on the pieces. Got a bunch of good sized larger pieces, a bunch of wings, we got a bunch of tiles and small and large and medium. Um, got one more character in here, a bunch of these silver um, vent pieces, another purple um, cone, a bunch of hinges, one by twos, a bunch of studs. Green pieces, studs on side, both small and large. Bunch of the Nexo Knight shields and trans orange. A lot of stuff here, small and big. Nothing super sized, but still, there's still quite a lot here for being the last bag. But this is it. Here we have our leftover parts, and of course, we have a brick separator. This one in green this time. And here's our regular leftovers. There's quite a bit here. And I partially feel like there's too many. When you got duplicates, that's usually strange. But we've got some transparent red pieces, green, and an orange dot as well. Um, a few other, you know, small one by ones, cheese slopes, the sort usual assortment of stuff. And then we have all sorts of extra ammo. Plenty of ammo, in case you lose it. I think there's one extra for every weapon that there was in this one. Here's the first half of the figures from this set. We have, make sure I pronounce these guys' name right. We have two Chitari, and then of course Rocket. And uh, the Chitari are exactly the same, so nothing amazing about that. I do like their guns, the, their built weapons look pretty neat. And Rocket's weapon here is pretty neat as well um i'm just gonna pop those guns off quick so we can take a closer look at their bodies there's really not much else to strip off them rocket has a uh, head piece it doesn't go over a regular head it's a fully molded piece it has shoulders on it too which i find that interesting um, he's got short legs as well but the prints on these guys are pretty good. Nicely detailed. Very nicely detailed. Now, I know they've had Chitauri in older sets um, than this one. I don't have any of them, so unfortunately I can't really compare them with anything. Look on the back here. Coon's got his... Rocket's got his tail back here. I guess we should probably move that. It's kind of in the way. Now you can normally turn those tails upside down if you want to use a different pose, but the problem is with this body with the short legs, he's uh, <laughs> the tail's going to um, hit the ground and not work that way. Yeah, the backs look pretty good too. Well, actually, his head blocks his back as well a little bit. 
I'll just pull that all off, I guess. But yeah, there he is. Nice detail with the the suits. And then these guys have that same nice patterning and body musculature on the back. The back of the heads look good. It's only single um, faced heads, but that's okay. Now Rocket's uh, main body here, though, torso, is nothing really new or amazing. In fact, I'm probably not even going to strip the other characters down because it's exactly the same. We have the rest of our team of Avengers here, and said their bodies are all the same. They all have the wonderful, nice printing. I love. Uh, Rocket had small legs, so he didn't have any leg printing. They do here, um, but nothing on the back. So I'm not gonna strip them down of that, but we will take their hair pieces off just to see their second faces. Um, these faces look really good. We got Thor here with his. Uh, powered up eyes which does look cool i like the build here for his new axe that he got um not sure if that's this is probably not the only set that that's in but the only one i have right now molnir no or is that okay i don't remember the name <laughs> but uh yeah that's backs about the same hawkeye has his arrows here in a quiver and we'll just pop their heads off so we can see. Pop their hair off. Give them a quick shave. Shave that hair right off. You can see the other side. Now we got Thor here with just like a regular face. And uh, Black Widow's looking kind of aggravated there. Same goes for uh, um, Hawkeye. Perhaps I should have turned their faces around since... Thor's angry face is his powering up face, so. Oh well, we've got everything assembled here. Um, we've already looked at the figures, so we're gonna kinda push them aside, except for a few figures, just to see about uh, how they fit inside. Um, before we do too much of the, the main build, we gotta do the little side build, of course, and that is this right here, which is a reverse tricycle. Motorized tricycle, I guess. It's kind of a weird looking vehicle and it's really strange how you ride it since you basically lay down on it and the only way the figure stays put is if he's holding onto the handlebars. Um, so, let's uh, pull him off quick here, Hawkeye. And see, there's no studs anyway, smooth surface, round surface and then just the handlebar i think it looks kind of interesting but does not work function functionally for for many figures um and it also has two stud shooters here on the front of it as well now the reason why this is kind of small i guess although i i think they could have made a better vehicle to to do what they need to do with this and that's because it goes in the back. And this is the one slight problem I have with this. And back opens up like that. That looks pretty good back from the back side. You know, they could have not put any details in. But we also have this little function here that comes out. Grab it from there. I'm swinging out, and it is a automatic multiple shot stud shooter, which is kind of cool. I wish there was like a little knob back here to turn it, but you can turn it easily just from here, and it's going to fire a lot, and I'm not going to fire it and make a mess. But you have to pull this out to put this car inside, and the car will roll right up in there and fit right in there nice and tight and once it's in there you still can't put this down so this is gonna always be out it'll go down about that far i mean if you don't mind it hanging out like that and not closing up but it will not go all the way in unfortunately so if you have that in there you've got to keep the guns out which is okay and this is what it looks like from the back it's very zoomable especially 
you hold it from the back right in here it's a good center of gravity and you can fly it around these little winglet stabilizers with the engines on it are movable so you can have it at whatever angle they're supposed to be at your you want it at i should say i'm not sure what they're supposed to be at. i think they're supposed to be down but not sure but let's take her off for a moment and we got to the nice lift engines here see from underneath this is probably the the weakest part of the appearance like the, feels like they could have just i don't know done something different between that and this here like this hinges i think would have been nicer if they were covered up and uh maybe even something more here to cover this up a little bit and i don't know it feels a little empty sparse other than that it looks good um Yes, we have the front here with cockpit. We got two stud shooters on either side of that. Uh, I had Rocket in there. Now Rocket can't sit down. Um, let's take his gun off. I don't know if he'll fit in there. Even though he can't sit down. I mean, he fits, but can we? No, we can't. Let's get the Black Widow and see how she fits inside there. I had to take your weapons off and such. Seems to fit okay. Cockpit closes up. So yeah, that's that's real nice. Now, uh, you got the car stored back here, but you still have cargo space in here. To open this up, you have a little uh, handle here built in, which is kind of nice. And you open up the front like that as well. So you got a lot of space in there. Eh, a little hard for my big hands to get in there, but you got two seats to sit in there and there's more room for people to stand there's also space in there to uh clip weapons and stuff on there so you can hang them up while they're in there uh, i don't know if you can see maybe you can the front of the the vehicle is there now you can take that out leave that out and you're going to have even more cargo space though it's a little bit harder to get access in there i do wish maybe that they put maybe another hinge or something in here so you could lift all of this up all the way back to maybe to there and you'd have more access to the the rest of that but since it's supposed to be designed for the vehicle it's you know it's not a big deal and let's take a look from the front here it's a mean looking thing um there's a little bit of posability here but i don't think that's meant to either it's just a little bit of wiggle in their designing of the wing um, these on the other hand are on a ball double ball joint so it only moves in one um, direction but it does move quite a bit I think they're supposed to be down like this if I remember right though you can move them up like that Looked from the top it's got quite the wingspan but like you said it's quite zoomable and the underside there she is from the bottom my hands kind of in the way showing all of it there it is yeah it's quite a big ship so let's head back to the desk and give this a final evaluation so we're back here at the desk and I said I liked the Avenjet. This set I absolutely love. It has, it looks even better than that jet. Um, you know, I, I, well, the reason why I like the looks of that one, it was a very uh, classic looking, had a very classic space build um, look to it. No, it wasn't quite there. This one build is definitely totally different and its appearance is absolutely amazing. Blows me out of the water. There's a couple issues I had, like uh, with some empty space here. Not really empty space, but just how the, the space was dealt with. I felt like it could have been done a little bit differently. Um, but really, overall, it, it's amazing looking. And I absolutely love this set. It fixes some of the problems I had with the, uh, the Avenjet. Um, with, like, not having any cargo space. This has cargo space. And uh, well, plenty of it. 
and uh, though it comes with cargo, you don't have to leave the cargo in there, so you can have all the space to play with. A little bit of problem, you know, getting into some of the tighter areas for kids. I have big adult man hands. Uh, it would probably be a little bit easier. Um, so yeah, that's my overall thoughts. I think this set's great. And uh, getting on to the view. As far as appearance, like I said, it looks absolutely amazing. Now, some people may not like the fact that you get many figures that have essentially all the same clothing on, but that's kind of what happened in the movie. They were all wearing the same suits, and it kind of represents their um, solidarity in their um, determination to save everybody, um, which I thought was awesome. Uh, but yeah, you know, people complain that they're they're getting basically the same figure three times, four times, whatever, and even these are duplicates of each other as well. But uh, I, I, they they're still nice design and they look good. Um, so as far as appearance, I gave it a ten easily. Now as far as function, this works great for what it needs to do. Now there is uh, you know a little bit of complaint that we can't have both things stored away in the back and to be honest that almost seems like there's enough room if you just slightly tweak the way the build the the vehicle is built or maybe even how this hinge works just slightly you might be able to to accomplish that but in i i don't feel like that's a big detriment to the set and everything else works great the flaps it, it just looks looks good um plenty of room to get into the cockpit with this open here um the harder part is the back here if you wanted to use this for space but i ended up giving this a 10 for function as well um the weakest thing is actually that little vehicle and it it works fine it's just kind of goofy um now, as far as fun, well, I think this is a great set that kids can have a lot of fun with. Granted, we are very imbalanced with our bad guys versus our good guys, but that's going to be just out balanced by how awesome this is and the different things you can do with it, the multiple, you know, firing points and and uh, all the different figures and the way you can move things around. This, this, despite being a ship, can he also like be a playset of a of a a bit too. And as far as the build was fun, it was a lot of fun putting this together with the different ways that it was used to make it the different angles how the i mean it used studs on side pieces but it's very interesting how it ended up using them and uh yeah i gave fun a 10 as well despite the the narrative um outnumbering of good guys and bad guys or what whatnot um these guys are just target practice for this thing i mean that's that's what it comes down to uh, so, as far as technique, like I said about the build being fun, there is some neat ways that are used for studs on side building. And it, sometimes it amazes me how things come together as you're building it. And that that that's fun. That That's interesting to see um, how, oh, we put these seeds here and we'll put this here. And all of a sudden it lines up with this over here. Wow, that's amazing. And, uh, yeah. Um, technique out of 10 e also and if you really need to do the math you add it up to get 40 divide by 4 you get 10 <laughs> um, so yes this set is getting a solid 10 for me I think this is a pretty awesome set and on top of that we'll talk about price just here briefly um, because it's no longer available regularly uh, so you're not gonna find it for the original retail price the original retail price was 79.99 so it was almost 80 bucks but it had 838 pieces and that ended up giving us uh, nine cents per piece so that's a decent price and it's not like it it's got 
some good size pieces and some small stuff as well. So it's not like it's a drummed up price for some large pieces or whatever. The price is really good. I think it's better than the Avenger set, although that wasn't terrible either. Oh yeah, the problem with that one, that one had the Thanos figure. That was huge. Um, it was on the expensive side. But they, um, what's interesting, at least on brick set, I didn't look it up on eBay myself, is you can get this set for brand new for only like $10 over the original price. And I was kind of shocked about that. So it may not be that hard to get this price or get this set at a, a decent price. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, I really like this set. As you see, it got a solid grade as well. So let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments. And if you have any questions or want to know anything else about this, let me know down there. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. And if you're new here or haven't yet, please subscribe. We're almost to 300. I'm planning on trying to do a live stream again at 300. I, I did one at 200. I'm not necessarily going to do one at every 100. I might do them more often just cause when I get used to doing them. The last one kind of messed it up at the beginning, but it turned out okay. I just didn't have a lot of people after I messed it up. Uh, I didn't have many people to begin with. Uh, but yeah, I might do that at 300, which we're getting close to. I'm still far away off from the, the big 1-0-0-0, um, but we're getting there. Um, also, check if you do subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get notified from YouTube. But also, check out my description down below for links for Facebook and Twitter because I put out uh, notifications a lot faster than YouTube on those sites. And there's a Patreon down there to check out too if you'd like um, help more directly. So anything you do is greatly appreciated. And uh, that's it for me here at the Creation Evaluation Station, reminding you that creativity is key.